All right, guys, good boy 32 here. Check it out. So I'm sitting here looking at some uh, video uh, that was taken down at the Carolina 3-Gun this last weekend, August 1. Uh, I will tell you this, you're always learning when you or when you do these things. And that's one of the reasons why I want to continue doing the three guns because uh, I just want to keep getting better and better and better. And this had to have been my absolute favorite. Uh, in my division, I finished 19th out of 42, uh, which considering the, the class of shooters that shoot at this thing, which are world-class athletes, and I will tell you this right now, I the people we were shooting with, we were on the super squad, and that thing was absolutely incredible. Uh, overall, I finished, I think it was uh, 23rd out of 52 shooters. So we're slowly, we're moving them up. And the key to moving up is shooting clean and making things happen in a fluid manner. Now, lessons learned. I didn't make things happen in a fluid manner. Uh, there were some missteps uh, as well as I could have probably gone a little faster uh, had I not made a few mistakes, uh, the first stage was a jungle run. Uh, that for that some reason, that's particular. It's stage five out there. It doesn't like me at all, and I fumbled a couple times. Uh, the long range, uh, I probably should have gone a little bit better on that. Um, the, don't stay up all night long before a damn event. Uh, the uh, the third stage that we ran was another jungle run. Did pretty good there. I actually. Uh, uh, had a failure to engage that was uh, seven and a half points there and then I had a no shoot on stage the fifth stage of the day uh, which I didn't get on videotape which I thought was one of my favorite best uh, stages stage the last stage of the day was my favorite one and I didn't get a video on that because of why the camera got overheated it was about 95 degrees in the sun it was disgusting uh, people were sweating it was hurtful <laughs> and a good use of the fan so real quickly, I've got four stages here. Let's check them out and uh, we'll finish it up with a, a recap at the end. Thank you. Yeah. All right, shoot it. Go make ready. See the crowd today we got here at CGGR. Nice crowd. Say hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. All right. <laughs> In the back. All right. Are you ready?
are done. Unload show clear. 5875. 5875. All right. Shotgun is clear. Got an FTE over here. Ah! Failure to engage. We were doing good. <laughs> All right. That was 5875 with a fit. Uh, right there, yeah. Spartan. Been in the safe the whole time. Spartan. And I have. Where's your fucking gun? 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 All right, so that was it, man. Uh, very simple, very easy. Uh, next month, we're going to do uh, the next one. And they're getting geared up for the Pro-Am down at Clinton House, which I'm not going to be able to participate in, as well as they're getting more geared up towards the Memorial 3 gun, which is going to be happening, I believe, in uh, October. Uh, but anyway, I'm busy working. I'm going to be shooting the next one in September. But then in October, we've got the uh, Sniper's Unknown Challenge. Switch is going to be a lot of fun, and we're prepping for. We got a lot of cool things, lessons learned on this one. Still got a lot to learn on transitioning. Can move a lot faster. Uh, need to lose weight and uh, start uh, learning how to kick off real quick and move. Like you see these USPSA guys shooting. As far as the class of shooters we were shooting with, these were top-notch athletes. I would have to say that uh, I'm just proud to be uh, part of a bunch that were just a really cool group of guys out there. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. It was real quick. Fun to the point. Let's go to War 32. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is never free. I am out of here. Y'all be good.